Hey everybody, it's Grumpy Elite, and today I'm going to be answering all your questions. Now there were only like about 12 or 13 people answered uh, asked questions, but they asked a lot of questions, so I'm probably going to be here for a little while. So you might want to grab your popcorn, take a seat, and enjoy the ride. Let's dive right into the questions. So first question we got from Protus Entertainment, we got, would you marry me? Uh, I'm sorry, Protus, I can't marry you. I'm currently engaged to Ninja Entertainment. Sorry. Strider Films asks, How in the hell haven't you eaten my big, fat, juicy burger yet? I bought this like a week ago. It's fresh and everything. Come on, man. I'm sorry I haven't eaten your burger, but I like Chick-fil-A. I like chicken sandwiches better. I don't like burgers. Uh, sorry, I don't like your McDonald's. Sorry. Next, we have uh, a lot of a lot of lot of questions from Ninja Entertainment. This is this is a could be a big one. Why so many memes? Because memes are dankest shit, bruh. Why are you a faggot? Be because I like dick. What do you what do you like most about British people? Uh, I like that they made Doctor Who. That's what I like. And, and uh, fish and chips. Do you like porn? Uh, honestly, I don't really watch porn that much. Probably like once a month, once every once every two months. Not really that much of a sexual guy kind of guy. How old are you? I'm 18 years old. I recently turned 18 about a few months ago. What's your col? What's your color? I think that it says favorite color. My favorite color is either blue, red, or black. I can't really choose it between those, but those are my favorite colors. I like to. I like to see and like to, I like to draw them. I like to whenever I'm drawing, I like to use either blue, red, or black. I like those kind of colors. They're pretty cool. Is it ginger? Oh, he's asking my hair color. Oh, what's your hair color? Is it ginger like mine? <laughs> Sorry. No, my hair is black. I don't, I'm not a I'm not a soulless ginger like you. Thoughts on Warframe the game? Um, it, it's pretty cool. I, I, sometimes I install and sometimes I uninstall it for like certain games, but it's something I really enjoy. I, I like it. Pretty unique concept of space ninjas. Favorite food? I like anything that's chocolate. Anything that has chocolate in it, I, I just have a huge sweet tooth and chocolate just... Mmm, it just drives me insane. Favorite drink? Uh, either Sprite or lemonade. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, no. Sprite, lemonade, or apple soda. If you haven't had apple soda, you should really just go to like your local... Hispanic store and just go buy some apple soda. It's really good. I recommend it. Dream girl. Okay, I might, I might sound like not. Uh, might sound a little cliche here. I like a nice kind of like girl who no who has her own dreams and aspirations set. You know, she can be a little cute. I guess kind of like a nerdy kind of girl, kinda. Just someone who's nice, who's a nice girl, keeps her. Keeps her body healthy, not like super healthy, but understands her body and knows how it's, it gets affected. She has life goals, she wants to achieve her dreams, something like that. You know, and, and, and a little booty is nice, a little booty here and there is nice. <laughs> John Cena. John Cena! John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> One of my hobbies. Uh, I like making movies. I like playing video games. I like to draw. I like to. I guess this kind of goes with drawing and, and uh, making movies. I like to animate things. I like to make gifts, just random things. I like to just just take random things, and just animate them. I don't know. It's just just a little hobby of mine. I also like to just write here and there, just like write little little like snippet stories, kind of like that. I also like biking, running, and I also like doing soccer. It's, it's probably my favorite sport. Favorite position? Uh, doggy style. Yeah. Have you ever done drugs or smoked? Uh, okay, here's the story time. Uh, when I was at my friend's house, he uh, made some brownies and uh, didn't know what was in the brownies. I was like, here, have some brownies. I'm like, yeah, okay. And I'd had them, and like they were pretty good. I tasted, they tasted like my my mom usually makes like healthy brownies for like 
so like carrots in is pretty good. I'm all like, hmm, is it, what did you like put in here? It tastes like some kind of like vegetable or something. It's all like, weed. He made weed into the brownies. He, he fed me weed brownies. That, that was the first time I ever got high. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I think it was like 16 at the time. Batman or Superman? Batman. Superman is overpowered as shit. Batman is fucking cool. Fucking awesome. I haven't seen the new Batman v Superman movie. I heard it's bad, but I can make a bad movie enjoyable, so I might just go see when it comes out on DVD. Zealot or Ultra? Ultra, because they look more beefy and buffed up. They look like they have more strength, like they've taken steroids or something like that. Mm, the letter H or the letter S? H. Coke or lemonade? I already said this, I like lemonade more than Coke. Unless he said Sprite, then I'll take Sprite. Vodka or whiskey? I never had either of them, but just based on what I've heard, I would take vodka because... Russian! Or Soviet Russia! Do you like... Do you have a gun? As you're American. We actually have a shotgun here, we're still trying to fix it up, it's like a hand-me-down shotgun, but once we do, I'm probably gonna go out shooting with it. Do you support Trump? If it comes down to it, yeah, I don't really like him, because some of the things he say are just, to me, it doesn't, some of the things he say, you know, I feel like he understands, but the whole immigration, let's build a wall thing, that, from someone who's Hispanic, who's actually been to Mexico, it's not gonna keep the immigrants out, you just, you don't know, People don't go over the border, they go through caves. That's a, that's a general knowledge thing, they don't go over the border, that's a stereotype. Top 5 friends. I'm not gonna really say their names, so I can't really say it, but internet friends, uh... Str I would say Strider Films, Ninja Entertainment, this isn't any order, I don't have any orders. John from Mushroom Productions. Uh, Jacob Hawkins from uh, Liberty Studios. And Megalodon 302, and those are the top five favorite people on the internet. Hate most about gingers, cause oh, fuck it, uh, they're, they're, they are soulless motherfuckers that need to be hanged up. They, they're they're fucking polluting our environment, man. They are polluting our bloodstream, our natural white blonde hair society. Yeah, I would say that if I was Nazi, but I don't really care about gingers. I really care about some ginger friends. Dream job. I either want to be a, like a video game designer or a film director. Your capture card software. Uh, I don't really use a capture card. I I want to get a capture card. But probably be able to get one over the summer. The reason I don't have a capture card is that I use the game DVR app, and even if I got a capture card, I wouldn't be able to connect it because my Xbox and my computer are like three rooms apart from each other. So probably over the summer I can get a TV. I'm gonna get a TV so I can put the Xbox in my room. And uh, be able to get a capture card so I can capture things in 60 frames in 1080p. Yeah. Any tips for new directors? Um, before you make a machinima, like look up guides to until you know what you're doing with machinima. Like I, I firstly I would recommend, even though it's an old guide, I would recommend Digital Fears Guide to Make a Machinima. That's how I was able to learn how to actually how to film things. Actually, I just looked at it in the Digital Fears guide and I learned everything I learned from him. I'm still... Sometimes I break the stuff he does, said, but I still get the general knowledge now. It te it, it's a really good guide. It teaches you how to do that. Also, I would look up, like, tutorials on how to do, like, special effects or anything like that. Just basically do your research before you make it. Learn how to do something properly. And... Don't, like, take... Criticism as you go along. Don't diss someone because they're saying you're doing something wrong. It depends on what's the matter of saying it. If they're just saying you suck, then obviously just ignore that. But if you're saying like, if you're saying like something about your machinima sucks and they give reasons why, then you should take those uh, reasons into consideration. You should take that criticism and use it to improve on your work. And don't do this just for if you want just popularity and things like that. Do it because you want to do it. It's like a hobby of yours, and then you just want to do it for fun. Always keep in mind that this is something you should be doing for yourself, and you should have fun with it. Just have fun with it, and we good. Trust me, yeah, trust me. You'll probably get off fast if you. It, it, people will notice if you do things from the heart. So, just have fun with it. Do you like my voice? Yes, I. I honestly, I like British people's voices. I, I like British voices. 
I'm behind you. Oh. Well, let me uh, zip down my pants. Tea or coffee? Tea. If it's if it's sweet tea, then definitely tea. Green or red? Red. Do you like British people like me? Yeah, buddy. You wanna see or covenant? Uh. That's a quick question, because I like, I like elites more than humans, but... If I was gonna be... You know what, if I was gonna be neither, I would probably just... Pick the Covenant, and I, I'd probably pick Covenant. Because, you know, Unicity still has Oni, and the Onis are... Oni are a bunch of bastards. Arbiter or Master Chief? If I were to say this, like, a long time ago, I would say, if I was little, when I, when I played Halo 3 and Reach, I would probably say Master Chief, but now... I prefer the Arbiter. Halo 5 or Halo Reach? Okay. Story-wise and customizational-wise, I would pick Halo Reach. And a kind of machinima-wise, I would pick Halo Reach. But if it was just based on gameplay and multiplayer, I would pick Halo 5. And Forge. It, it just seems better to me. It's more to my uh, liking. Favorite Halo character and why? The Arbiter, because he is a badass. He is a badass, and whoever- I don't know who voices him, whoever voices him, I freaking love his voice. Right next to Garius from Mass Effect, he's one of my favorite voices in any video game. Or any movie or video game series. Favorite Star Wars character, and why? I would say... Rex from the Clone Wars series. Uh, because you know, he, he was a badass, but he also... He also had, like, a bit of independence and kind of like mine of his own. He seemed like to be the most independent clone in this series, I kind of like that. He was also pretty good, pretty good, uh, not command, he was a captain. He was a pretty good leader, I'm gonna say that. Do you like chicken? Yes, I like chicken more than burger, Strider. I don't like your burgers. Do you support danksters? Yeah, man. Get those dank memes, man. Dank it up, dank it up. Lucky number, nine. What if I was watching you right now? Uh... I'd probably just wave to you. Will you marry me? Yes, I thought we were already engaged to each other, Ninja. I freaking protest tried to... freaking propose to me. I, I don't like you even better, Ninja. Will you fuck me? Oh, uh, hold on, man. We, we just got into it. We actually engaged it. We'll probably do it on our honeymoon. You just... you can't rush into it, man. Opinions of me. You're a pretty nice guy and you're pretty sexy. Top 10 things about any Halo game book, etc. I've only read one, actually two, one and a half books. I've read the entirety of uh, Halo First Strike, and I'm still reading Fall of Reach, so I can't really give anything to that. Yeah. Favorite card, Call of Duty 4. That's, that's probably the only card I've ever bought in, actually. And all the other cards, like up to Black Ops 1, I've only rented them. Yeah. Any updates for channel? I'm gonna be making. I'm actually gonna be making an update video like bef before. Maybe, maybe next week I'll make it either Sunday or next sometime next week about what's like the schedule that's gonna be happening in this channel. Why are you the dankest of all danks of the danksters? Because I'm pretty dank, man. It's pretty dank if you're dank enough to be part of the danksters. But why the danksters? Because the danksters are the new meme. They are the new Illuminati. We are the Danksters. I mean, surely it's so dank that it becomes dank. So be dank. Man, this com this comment is full of dank. Let me just, I'm, I'm just gonna say this. I am the dank of all the danks. If you, if you, whenever you think the think of dank, I'm there. I'm just gonna say that. This one comes from, oh my god, I can't believe it's not butter. So like, how do you make mmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm
I'm gonna say pers personally on personality wise, it would have to be Digital Virus. I mean, I like his work, but I don't like him as a person. I, I like some of the stuff he says I agree with, but some of the, the majority of what he says, it just pisses me off. Can I sniff your buns? Uh, yes, you can. You can sniff them all you want. You can sniff them every day, all day, every day. Do you wives me? I think he said wives. I think he said wo wives. Yes. I love you very much. What are your favorite Halo machinimas? Um, probably would be Deus Ex Machina. Anything from Digital Fear, like Deus Ex Machina, Heart Justice, One Life Remaining. Uh, oh man, a uh, Lost Halo style. It's like an old Halo 2 machine that I watched back in 2008. It's pretty funny, pretty good. Uh, what else? Mm. Uh, matchmaking, uh, matchmaking was pretty good too. Uh, the Master Chief uh, series by uh, Guitar Master X17, Source Wars, Freeman's Mind. Uh, what else? There was there was one more. Uh, yeah, the Civil Protection. Civil Protection was really funny machine I used to watch back then. How do you feel to have 50 subs? It feels freaking awesome, man. I, I'm so damn grateful for everyone who stick with me to the end, man. No, seriously, you guys are awesome. Any future projects? Um, I'm gonna be sailing on the next update of what I'm gonna be doing, so stay tuned for that. Top five games. Uh, Fear, Skyrim. Uh, God, man, this is hard. Uh, Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. That, that was that was really good back in the day. Oh god, man, this is this is honestly really hard. Uh, oh man, this is really hard. I don't know what other one. To, there's just so many games I've played and a lot of ones I played. Uh, Jesus, I'm gonna have to go with Mario 64 for my second one. But my all-time favorite game is probably Halo One. Yeah, like first ever Halo, just the best experience I had in my entire life. Pretty damn good. You like gingers. I like I like gingerbread cookies. I don't like people with gingers. I'm just joking. You love me? No, I hate you. Kill yourself. Who you'll be working with in the future? Um, I'm just, in fact, I'm just gonna say this in the update, but I'm, I might as well say it here. I'm working with uh, Megalodon 302 to make his uh, Vigilante Machinima series called Injustice. It's very. If you've seen the Punisher or like the recent uh, Daredevil season, then you, that's, you kind of have a feeling of what this Machinima series can be, gonna be about. I'm gonna be editing and doing some voice acting for that thing. I'm also be working on a, uh, Lifebringer spinoff, uh, short called Judgment. If you haven't seen Lifebringer, it's by Chronicler, by Chronicler, so you might wanna go check it out, just type in Lifebringer, it's pretty, it's pretty good at Machinima. Uh, what else? Maybe with Ninja, he, he says he wants to make it like a comedy Machinima. Oh, I'll have to. We'll, we're singing about that, so maybe something like that. And also, I'm working with the Machinima Republic. We're like. Hope to do some stuff on the channel over there, so. As you heard mine and Mario's podcast about real life Machinima, what kind do, will you do? Um, I'm doing like. Since I've had these like two on the back burner, like, I'm just gonna do one that's gonna take place at night a little bit of a love ago. Like, uh, kind of like if you've seen like Mirror's Edge, kind of not like anything like parkour or anything, but kind of like conspiracy sort of ask like package like I it's like a guy he has a package he doesn't know anything that's in it but it's apparently some kind of like drug or like a virus thing I don't I don't even know what it is I don't even know myself it's just it's something and there's gonna be a Spartan like green screen on there he's gonna be chasing the guy it's all gonna be in first person then another one would just be like testing green screen in real life where I just took my camera and just went onto the beach and like just did a like a little comedy short and still since I'm grounded, I couldn't like finish that, but when I come back, I'll probably finish that. Favorite color? I already told you my favorite colors. They're blue, red, and black. Have you not been listening this entire time? What's your favorite sport? Again, I told you it's soccer! Team Captain America or Team Iron Man? Uh, Captain America. I, I just like Captain better than Iron Man. Especially how they like picture Iron Man in this, uh, in the new movie just by based on the tree, which just seems like. It seems a bit unfair since they. To me, they picture them more like a villain, so I'm just going to go with Captain America. What you like most about Star Wars Battlefront? Honestly, I haven't played that much. I would just have to say the graphics. How did you get into the Machine Learning community? Uh... 
I, d I get into like Machinima making like you I haven't like updated uploaded there you can probably find them on the YouTube I don't remember my old channel like I might have deleted it before but I used to like make all these like home movies and stuff with my friends like it was like a Machinima channel to like, get all these like I took my cam I took my video camcorder and I just went onto the screen and just made Machinima just using that camcorder I just recorded the screen and went to theater mode just recorded everything and I just I then learned how to cut to the videos and make it seem like an actual machine, but just recorded with a video camcorder. Then I got a tripod and it stopped shaking, and then we just made stuff like that. It was pretty cool until we got copyright striked before, and uh, that channel like died off because I moved, so we couldn't like work with my friends. So I didn't have Xbox Live for like two years. That was like a two-year period, so it kind of like died off. I don't even, I don't even think I remember the password for it or even the name for it. I don't know if I deleted it. It just went off in obscurity. But for like the Machinima, how I got into the Machinima community, I would guess like it was like a uh, directly like interacting with other people in the community was when I uh, Tempest Knight posted a video saying he needed body actors and voice actors, he, not the voice actors, he needs body actors for his, uh, filming a, a session for, a uh, what, what is it called, Headhunters, he needed some people for Headhunters, so I was all like, yeah, sure, I got, I got reached, it's now backwards compatible, so, yeah, let's hit, hit it up, since my Xbox 360 is, like, dying, I can use that, so, I went up there, I'm all like, hey, let's, I like to help and stuff, so I, I went up there in the lobby, we like had a lot of fun body acting, and then when we're done with Headhunters, we're all like, hey, let's go help John, Mario, Mario Chief 100, let's go help him make his uh, demigod thing, and we're like body acting for that, and then Mario Chief, like, I guess he like found my uh, Skype and is all like, hey, you, you're pretty cool and all, you wanna be part of the machine in public? I'm all like, oh my god! I like you guys. I sure I want to be the machine where we public. Well, I was just really excited because before I just knew about them and I was that was like a really cool idea. And I'm like, yeah, awesome. And so that's how I from there I started just hanging out with more people. I got to know more people in the community and expand like the kind of people that were before like top directors. I didn't know any a lot of the top directors. I'm just like. The only people I knew were like Arbor 617 and Mike WB, that was it, and a little later Digital Virus, but that was that was the only people I knew. Like, not knew, but at least knew about. And that's how uh, the story of how Grip Elite got into Machinima. Do you like a ginger ninja like me? Is this a dink question? I don't know, you should be asking yourself that. Are you truly dink? To hang with the dinksters? Maybe you'll find out for yourself. Am I dank? Are you dank? Is life dank? That just intrudes the questions. Fallout 4 or Doom? Doom. Yeah, I said it. I like Doom better than Fallout 4. Any specific projects that will come out soon? Uh, I'm just gonna say it right here. Uh, Night I know I said I was gonna do like the Halo 4 series Stranded and Nightline, but. No, I got grounded, and I'm taking a... I took, even though I was grounded, I took like a huge time, like right in the mouth. And Nightline was supposed to be like a 5 to five to 7 minute short, but now it's like a 15 to 20 minute short now. Not short, like 15 to 20 minute full-fledged machinima. That I'm probably going to be taking all of June to like film and edit that, so somewhere like late June you probably expect Nightline. And Stranded, I'm probably going to work on that either July or August, whenever I can get the scripts done. So yeah, another thing, I'm probably also releasing short machinimas ranging from comedies, horrors, thrillers, to action, little stuff, to like test little name my dreamers, and also working some animations in Overgrowth, I'm still working on that, I already started like animating that, I'm still need some voice actors to send me their lines, and also need to get more people because they dropped out! Like, they were good voice actors too, but that's what makes it suck even more. Ah. What made you decide to name Grumpy Elite? Okay, um, this was I. It, I made a little, little like derpy comic thing called like Halo. It's a basic name, Halo Adventures. And I would just like copy these like pe these like little like Halo people with like derpy faces and all that kind of stuff. And one of them was just like a Elite that was 
always grumpy, he was always like upset and everything, I was like mad, kind of like this man relate to because everyone would just like piss him off or something like that. And when I was deciding, like, my, my old name was Arch Super Chris because I was, I made mainly before Machinima, I would mainly made like Lego Star Wars stuff. I'd just make, make stop motion Lego Star Wars stuff. And so I decided, like, you know what, I don't really, I'm still trying to get it back into stop motion, but I don't really do that much today. I like to do Machinima more, and I'm all like, well, I just changed my name, and I'm all like, I just come up with names, and I'm all like, I remember, like, the comic I made, and I'm all like, you know, instead of making some, I was gonna make something like very serious, like something like Prometheus Entertainment or something like that, and then I just say, you know, I'm instead of ones making all these serious names, I'm gonna make myself a derpy name. So I called myself Grumpy Elite. That's that's <laughs> just because of that little derpy comic. I, that's where my name came from, Grumpy Elite. It's just something to, to break all the serious names. I just wanted to make something like Derpy, and you know, that's kind of like what I've been doing with my machinimas, just doing like Derpy little machinimas and animations. Favorite film? Spirit Away. I, I love that movie. I like Hayao Miyazaki's films. I like Studio Ghibli. Everything I've done together, I love all of that. It was, it was like the heart of my childhood, just watching that. And like, probably like my favorite anime as well. Do you like tea and do you like tea and crumpets? Mmm, yes, I like tea and crumpets. It makes me feel very sophisticated. You can't be very sophisticated. You can't call yourself a normal man without eating tea and crumpets. Mmm. Apples or bananas? Bananas. They just taste better. Mu favorite music genre? I don't have a favorite music genre. Honestly, I just anything that's not. Bad, and then that I can listen to, I'll just listen to it. Don't really have anything specifically favorited. Noble Six or Agent Lock? Noble Six, because Agent Lock is a bitch. Noble One or Sergeant Johnson? Sergeant Johnson, because Noble One is a bitch. Sergeant Johnson is a fucking badass. Give me a shout out, bitch. No. You don't deserve my shoutouts. You don't deserve my praise. You don't deserve my attention. I am the greatest director who ever lived. Do you think you can command me around saying you want to shout it? No, you should go. You guys could just seriously go watch Ninja Entertainment. He's very good friend and also makes good stuff. He's like, he's very fun and stuff. Go watch Ninja Entertainment. There's your freaking shout out, man. Do you like cream eggs? I don't even know what the heck that is. Nutella with ice cream, good or bad? Nutella is good with anything. I eat Nutella with anything. I eat it with apples. I eat it with crackers. I eat. I freaking. I remember one time I ate it with. Like I ate. It, I ate it. Uh, I don't even know what it's. No, I, I ate it with pork chops. That's what it was. I ate Nutella with pork chops once. I, I was very young at the time, so I didn't understand that how it would affect the taste. I just thought it would taste better. It kind of did at the time, but now I, I don't think it would taste good today. Why you call it pants? Do we call it trousers? Because we're America, man. America. Why call it fries when we call it chips? Because America. I'm not gonna do that again. My voice is getting hurt just by doing all these questions. You get it because we're Americans. Americans are better than. Freaking British people. Scones or scones? What is a scone? That is the truest, the truest questions. Two different pronunciations. There's no way that, that was that with. Is that with the question? Scones? Or scones? I don't even know what the two different pronunciations are. I don't even know. Dots or stripes? Stripes. I, I like stripes better. Toffee. Or caramel. Oh man, that that's a tough. One. I, you you can't let me choose between those. I like both of them together. You know, say that I like both toffee and caramel together. They taste amazing together. You think ninjas are cool? No oh, man, samurais are where it's at. Man, you got it all wrong, man. You get, samurais have all the honor and stuff like that. You've not seen Mulan, man. You should go see Mulan. You don't understand why samurais are better than ninjas. Where you see yourself in 10 years? Honestly, I see my... Uh... 
honestly see myself either in the military or working trying to trying harder to build up in the either video game or film industry just that's where I see myself and I don't seem honestly I, I want to start up my own company but I don't know if that would ever be done but that, that's my dream starting my own video game or film company something like that you road man I if that's a meme I don't even know what it is I'm not a mean person you road man no no I'm not a road man I don't have my uh, truck and I don't have a really big burly beard or a checkered shirt I don't have on it I'm not a road man it's peak isn't it what I don't even know what that means why you do it? You're just you're, you're you're yelling at for me. Why are you yelling at me, man? You, there's no reason for you to be yelling at me. God. All right, we got some last guy right here, Justin Stevan. What do you consider to be your main inspiration on YouTube? Uh, uh digital fear, like digital fear for like machinima, Markiplier when he. Started like doing his let's plays, that was a big inspiration for me. Oh, he just started out. Uh, who else? Mm. I'm gonna have to say th this is like these old little machine, this old, not machine. I think they did make machine, but that was one of the main thing they did. It was like this old group of guys who inspired me to get into YouTube just to hang out, do YouTube with my friends with this uh, company called, uh, their company now, the uh, Mumble Films. They did like Really funny stuff back then. It was funny when I when I was a kid. They really inspired me, me and my friends, to get like doing videos on YouTube. That was pretty good. You should you should know, Justin. How would you describe your style? Very depends on what I'm doing. If it's comedy, very crazy. If I'm doing action, I like to take inspiration from like anime, from like and some some anime and anime films like Ghost in the Shell. And when I'm doing horror, I would say, like, Fear and Silent Hill are mainly my inspirations. Any themes or dramas you like the most, and which would you consider experimenting with? I like to do comedy and horror more than action. And doing sceneries and stuff. And which would I... I would like to be experimenting with a lot with... Honestly, with action, since I haven't made a proper action machine, I would like to experiment with action and more horror stuff I like. What director is your favorite, and what draws you to the work? Digital fear because everything he makes, he is, in my opinion, has not made a bad machinima. Or at least some things haven't, some of his machinimas haven't aged well, but at the time, they were really good machinimas, and he hasn't made anything bad, anything. Everything he's made is either good or amazing. And what draws me is that he can, he can make a fine line between seriousness and comedy. He makes a good balance of that, and I really love that. He makes good stories, but also makes very funny situations and jokes that just make me burst out laughing. Even to this day, I found it, find this stuff very hilarious and engaging. Who makes your music? Justin, you are a fucking piece of shit! So anyways, that was all the questions here. So I'm probably gonna be making things in the future, maybe, if I'm not grounded anymore, maybe you'll see something, I don't even know, but thank you for all these questions, it was very fun to do all this, answer everything you mean, if you have anything else, just ask here in the comments, I'll just add anything else you didn't like, you didn't have answered, I'll answer in the comments, and how much should I close this, uh, John Cena, and his name is John Cena!